All right, I'm going to show everyone how to set up a part number here right off the box. This is a 7102-26D41 in satin chrome. This is the combination lock, Chavez lock, depending on where you live in uh, the world, country. Uh, it's going to go on this door. Looking at this, I'm going to show you a couple of setups. So I'm going to set the screws on the side. You know, this is an inch and three quarter door, so we're going to need two latch screws. We're going to need four straight plate screws. And depending on the thickness of your door, you're going to need the four medium sized screws for a typical inch and three quarter. These are your three different sizes. Long, medium, and short. If you install this on an interior door, by all rights, depending on the year of the house and stuff, you should use um, the shorter for an inch and three eighths door. But being an exterior door, it's going to be the four medium sized screws. Two, three, four. Four medium sized. Now we have all the screws we need, all this other stuff. This is garbage for this installation. This is your lower knob, this is your upper knob, and this is your standard run-of-the-mill uh, 7100 series simplex, Cabo, whatever you want to call it, Chavez lock. And we know this is going to be an inch and three-quarter door installation. Uh, let me set you guys down, I'll show you how to take these tail pieces off to the right thickness. This is all new construction. so. We're not worried about dirt, it's just the mud hole here. All right, on this tailpiece, you're gonna go right to here. You can see the inch and three quarter. Rock this back and forth, and that snaps right off. Get rid of that. Then from the bottom, the way I do this, I mean, I do thousands of these a year. I'm gonna count up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and at your eighth one, you're just gonna snap this off. Also, now you get your tail pieces. I'm trying to do this one-handed. All cut to size. I have this template torn out of the book. I, mean, I usually do this with a jig. You can do it free-handed, however you want. If you have to line up your knob size, you have two and three-eighths. You bring this all the way out to the edge of the door. And if you look at that, get a better angle here for you, you can tell that that would sit on the door offset. So two and three-quarter is going to bring you in line with the knob, you just kind of eyeball it. And uh, let me poke some holes in this template and we'll come right back to you. All right, so what I did here, I poked seven holes with the scribe. Six up front, one on the side for the latch. I just, I didn't even dead center and I just roughly threw it in there. And when I poke these holes on this template, I stay a hair under on the top holes and the bottom holes are perfect and everything will drop right in. All right. The first thing you want to do whenever installing one, you start with your four outside holes. You're going to do the one, two, three, four, with your recommended drill bit size. I'm going to drill these and I'll be right back. All right, now you can see I've drilled my first four holes in the door all the way through Go completely through the door the next hole I'm going to drill is right here up top 
Okay, we got the top hole drilled in there. Now we're going to drill the lower hole. Now we've got our lower hole drilled in here through both sides. Now I'm going to drill the one inch hole for the back set. We've got that one inch hole for the back set. What I always tend to do is after you drill your hole, the latch tends to bump this styrofoam. So just take your spade bit or whatever, even if you have wood in there, and just clean it up just a touch, and it'll make it drop in a lot better. Next thing we're going to do, I have a, a one inch dowel with a nail in the end of it. Let me show you this. And that just pokes a hole in the jam dead center so you know exactly where you're dropping out. You can put the latch in first. Use toothpaste, lipstick. Uh, people use a bunch of different things. So what I do, I just close this door. I slide that over. Pull back on the plug. Open the door. And you've got a perfect mark every single time. Okay, that one inch hole is now drilled. Everything is prepped and ready. I'm going to chisel out for the latch face now. A um, couple of different ways of doing that. Let me just show you guys. You can take your latch face. You can slide this into here. Center it on the door. Wherever you got to be. And you can just take your chisel, whatever size you use, you know, whatever your flavor. And when this is in here, you just, you know, I'm doing this one handed just to give you an idea, but you just scribe right around this with the flat side of the chisel. But the way I do it, just to make things a little faster, and drop it on the floor. No, I'm just kidding. I use this old style uh, marker. It's been absolutely beat to death. As you can see, this used to be much larger. But you just center this in the hole and uh, you smack it with the hammer and you got a perfect cutout. All right, now what you want to end up with is just a nice rectangular hole. Your latch will slide right in there. Okay, so this latch face is mounted in there. Let me, uh, we're going to clean out these top holes. Take a Phillips screwdriver, run it in and out, that way you don't have any styrofoam in your way. Blow it out good. And that tends to uh, clean it up nice. I got an old hole saw with me, so it just kind of dances. Let me uh, grab the lock. All right, this is what you're going to be looking for in your face. My marker does it perfect. You can scribe it with, you know, the chisel the way I showed you. And you start with the top. You start chiseling right along the bottom line, the top line. And when you come down your sides, you're going to, you don't want to go straight in because you're going to blow the side of the door out here. You just want to go in at a slight angle and be gentle. All right, we got the lock here. This lock is going to slide right through on the tailpiece. All right, just mounted the lock on here. Goes through pretty standard like everything else. And uh, put your back plate on, you know, with the two screws in it. And now we're going to put the top one on. All right, the top plate is mounted now. Lock looks great. Just gonna check our door side. Beautiful. Okay, another thing, the strict plate, if you don't lose it. This plate, you can hold on here also. I mean, this is just full of uh, spackle and scratches and, you know, all of this stuff comes off when they're done. They do the finished touches on the uh, house. You just dead center this, the strike side. And again, you can mark it out with a, you know, a chisel, whatever. 
I do mark it out with a chisel by hand and it just seems to be fast for me. If I had another person with me, I'd film that, but I'm doing this on my own one-handed. All right, lock is done, plate's in, and the strike is chiseled in there. Close this, everything is perfect.